so I was sitting with a friend, actually waiting for my friend this morning. This is a really good topic that I'm super excited about. Woo! When I have this just stark realization of how bloody good everything is. Not everything, but I was sitting in Starbucks. It's rainy, it's cold, you know, waiting for a friend of mine, uh, my friend Teresa, who is one of my, uh, just one of the people I just love to death. And so uh, I'm sitting there by myself and I was thinking about this conversation not, actually, not a specific conversation, but I was working with this coach for some time who said two things to me at two separate times that disturbed me. And one was sort of, I was, I was aiming for a certain look, feel in my marketing and um, was using words like feminine. And, and he challenged my uh, use of the word feminine. And in a way that was kind of like, I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, kind of, and what I heard at the time was, I, I think you're kind of telling me I'm not that feminine. And, and again, notice I said what I heard, okay? Because I'm, like, I'm not someone who sits back and be like, I can't believe they said that to me. How dare they? No. Everything that somebody says is information, period, end of sentence. What I do with it is what makes it what it is. So, and then at another time, that same person said something to me about, uh, let's just say, you know, my drive towards success and how I view, you know, my goals and what I'm working towards and how I handle uh, the, the setting of those goals and the achievement of those goals and what I'm aiming for or reaching for, which again was sort of a, a what felt to me like a, a judgment that I wasn't reaching enough or for as much as I could have, right? Now, at the time, I was annoyed, uh, maybe maybe slightly annoyed to, to mildly annoyed, not super annoyed, because again, I've learned to curb the, or like set aside the emotion at least briefly so that I could evaluate, right? So when says something, well, so for example, when somebody says something to me and my first impulse is like, you can go fuck yourself. Uh, that's something for me to look at <laughs> because, you know, my desire to defend myself or react that strongly means I'm hearing something I don't like. And for me, anytime I hear something I don't like, I got to look at it, especially if it makes me feel emotional because there's probably some ego involved. So in both cases, I looked at these things, you know, what I thought my, of myself as a woman, how, where, what, in what ways would I describe myself as feminine or not? Um, according to my definition, and then also in this other instance when we were talking about success, what is it I'm willing to do to drive myself towards being successful, making money, and whose definition of success am I applying anyway, right? Because I'm never, ever, ever, ever going to like script myself on social media and vomit some nauseating shit to you about how you can make six figures. I find that like Oh God, it's just like, ugh. I, I'd rather stick my finger down my throat and puke. I need to be myself. I need to be myself in such a powerful way that you find it attractive and then you want me to pay to teach you something. Um, that is success to me. It's that I'm moving through the world, spreading myself out, trying to be helpful. And, and anyway, so back to sitting in Starbucks, I'm looking out the window and I think to myself, like in those two instances, what happened was, that person challenged me, which is exactly what a good coach should do. And, 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 and even though it felt like maybe an adversarial or contrary opinion to what I thought about myself, it inspired me to examine myself. It inspired me to look at what do I think about being a woman? What do I think about being successful? And not what does he think? What does the world think? Um, and that may be that 80% of the world thinks that like selling yourself in a scripted way and talking about how they can help you make six figures is the way to go and that those people are earning six figures. I think that's great. I'm never going to do that. And I was sitting in Starbucks and thought to myself, I'm never going to do that. And it's great because what's happening right now is this plethora of opportunities that are showing up at my door that are me, that match me, that meet me where I'm at because I'm meeting the world with who I'm at and how I'm at, because I'm just being myself. I'm not trying to mold myself into a title or present myself as somebody that I think that you think I should be, right? And I've done that for years, subtly and strongly. Oh, let me tone it down so you can accept me. Oh, let me go be myself and be really loud and in your face or whatever, 
you know, I've done these just crazy things to try and get noticed while saying I was being myself and not even knowing who I was. And now I'm being myself and I'm starting to watch success come to me in these waves that are matching and meeting me like the phenomenal swimmer I am. Wow, a little revelation for a rainy day. Thanks for hanging out and joining me today. And I hope somebody challenges you. And next time somebody challenges you, instead of getting mad or defending yourself or trying to decide how they're wrong, why just sit still in a chair for a minute and just ask yourself how they might be right and what you want to do about it. And if you have any questions or you want to do something about it for real, you can get in touch with me. Hope you have a good day.